everybody, Mr. Miola here, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. I have a very, very amazing announcement to share with you at the start of this episode. This has basically consumed my entire weekend. I would like to present to you the one, the only, the castle, the manor, Castello di Miola. Look at this, this thing of beauty. This guys has appeared out of nowhere. We had some architects in town over the weekend who decided to go ahead and build up. What is going on over there? Bronk. Bronk, you can't run through mountains like that, buddy. Just chill, just chill, just wait. Just wait there, buddy. Wait there. I know, I know you're excited about the Castello di Miola, but it's not the time. Just sit there, sit there tight. We'll, we'll visit you in a second, buddy. But yes, guys, this is our new castle. I spent many, many hours building this thing. I'm sure you could probably tell. This thing is an absolute masterpiece. They call me Leonardo di Miola. That's right, I am an artist. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing around me! Is it not marvelous? Oh boy, I'm so happy to finally share this with you guys. Let me go jump on our boy here so I can give you like a nice big aerial view. So this is our new castle. We started this a couple episodes ago with a little bit of a foundation and um, let's just say it, 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 it got a bit crazy. It got a bit out of proportion. It got a bit, it got, yeah, I took it a bit far, but I'm really happy with how it looks. Um, it's, it's amazing. It is incredible. It goes all the way around here. And I really wanted to like blend it into the mountain. So I've done that. And I think the ca Keeps in Castles mod is incredible. It's amazing. It's awesome. So, um, yeah, let me give you a little bit of a tour. So this is the entrance. And what I'm thinking is like with this little platform out the front here, it's going to like extend to other buildings and stuff. So this isn't the whole thing. This is like just the main keep. Yeah, that's what this is. So, this here will eventually, I don't know, lead to some other stuff or something. I don't know. It might lead to something down here or something up there or something all the way down there. Who really knows? Let me go and land, land our little RG here and take you on a little bit of a tour. So, here we are. This is my base. We have a little, this is like the little, the little greeting platform area. This is the staircase that leads up into the, the big gate of Miola. Um, we have a little bit of like a moat. It's not really a moat. It's like a little castle wall around here. So we can run around here or we can run all the way around the other side. And uh, this this goes all the way around. I thought it'd be cool to just have a little lookout. So that's kind of the, the thought. Oh god, come on. The amount of times... I don't know how I didn't take damage just then. The amount of times I jumped off of that ledge while building this thing and died. <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous. I think I died about three or four times in the process of building this thing. Just from negligence and jumping off of mountains. It's a bit ridiculous. But yeah, let me show you inside properly. Let me show you inside. So we've got all these little like keyhole windows. I think they look awesome. And they kind of match like the little battlements along the outside as well. In here we have, I think it's about five walls tall. Um, and then over there is our big stained glass window. And obviously like the little outer rim there kind of like goes up one level. And I was thinking we could have like an altar here as well. Like a big... Like, it's going to be like a throne room, and I want to get, like, a big throne for myself up there. I'm not sure if any of the mods actually let us do that. Let's have a little look. Do we have any thrones? I don't think we do. Do we have any chairs? We got a sofa, a wooden chair. Do we have any seat? I don't really know what else there would be. Like, a pimp? There's the pimp couch. I guess that could be our throne. I don't really know. Uh, but, yeah, I was thinking we could move all of our stuff down from our little top platform up there, down here. And if once we do that, we can basically start building... A giant base up the top there. Like, now that we've got this, we've got a place we can finally call home. And now that, we, like, we, we can basically clear up our little top platform up there. Move everything down into this manor. The castle, the keep of Miola. The Castello di Miola. And, um, then we can, you know... It build another keep up the top here and we can connect the two and it's gonna be really really awesome anyway that's what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking so today we might dedicate some time to that oh yeah and let me show you the top little section up here there's so many things that this mod lets you do it's absolutely ridiculous but oh my god i'm in love with it like you can do like little inverted circle 
parts like that. I might even build like another level on top of this base. I don't really know yet. Um, but yeah, we've got all our little battlements. We can see like a, a 360 view around our base. We can see exactly what's going on. Hopefully, I don't even know what the health is like on these things. 10,000. So hopefully a Drake can't like battle that. I don't really know. Um, and unfortunately, due to like some of the way these things line up, it doesn't line up exactly how I would have liked it to. Like I can't really get anything in between there because i think that is supposed to touch that but anyways it's all good um yeah we can like keep an eye on our dinosaurs down there i can park my pteranodons up here and my other flyers up here and stuff like that it's awesome it's really really cool um also also in the news with all of that taming all of that crafting well not taming all of that crafting of all of this stuff i have gone ahead and reached level 100 we reached, we, yeah, we reached level 100, which was a pretty cool thing to do because you get a birthday suit and birthday pants for reaching level 100, which, you know, we could, we could throw on and it, it makes us naked. <laughs> oh God. It's been a while since I had these little like naked suits and stuff. So yeah, we're, uh, we're naked now if we want to be, but. But I don't want to be. I, 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 this is, this is PG. This is a PG series. PG channel. It's, it's for children. So we can't go walking around naked. We can't go doing that. I mean, we could go topless. I might consider that. But for now, I'm going to keep my skins inside of the chest here. Because we don't want them disappear. I don't know. I don't want to lose them. Not that we would lose them. But I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So yeah. That there costs so much metal and stone. We've got a lot of leftover stuff still. And still a lot of, like, metal and stone as well. I've also been crafting a bunch more narcotics, which have been contributing to our overall leveling system and stuff. And it looks like I've actually gone through all of our fuel. So let me grab a little bit more fuel from here. Throw this stuff in here. Um, because... How much more? That's another 430. So we are just going narcotic crazy. It's a little bit ridiculous. I accidentally left our spoiler on while I was building that, uh, which as you could probably tell is a lot of time and I spoiled all of our meat. So we got like 10,000 spoiled meat there, which is an absolute joke. Um, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. Should we get started? Should we start transporting some stuff down there? I think the most, I don't even know how we're gonna do it because there is so much weight up here. Um, I guess we're gonna need the champ for a start. In fact, oh man, I don't even know where to begin. All right, let me go and dump all of my stuff that I've just got on my body. We can keep our armor. We're going to drop all of our weapons. Okay, we are in empty inventory right now. We're going to need the champ. He's our weight carrying machine. You know what we should do? We should go tame that other champion quest too and then like double down and just transfer everything down. But, oh, actually, before we do all of that, we got to work out how we're actually going to store it down there. What, listen, you know what? Let's set up storage down there because that's something we haven't actually touched on this season yet. I have a mod called the stacking mod, the stacked storage mod. Um, we've got a different, a few different types of possibilities that we can play with. The wood storage, or we've got metal storage by the looks of it. So let's just like learn all of it. Yeah, just learn all of it. There we go, learn all of it. Um, I've never actually used any of this stuff before, but basically it's like a really good way of stacking and storing armor, or store, storing just anything really. Um, there's also the Ananuki one, right? The Ananuki Vault. Which, I don't know what it is, but even if we just craft one of them, like, it could just be helpful. Oh, and with, with unlocking level 100, we also have learnt the, uh, the tribute, the bus tribute, this thing right here. So, I worked out to get this thing here, you're gonna need golden treats, you're gonna have to kill a Megapithecus, kill a Broodmother, and kill a dragon. So, there's a lot of things you gotta kill to be able to tame any of those things, or on the other hand, you need to kill... A silver dodo, which is better than a gold dodo for some reason, which is kind of weird. I didn't think that would be the case. So, um, yeah, silver dodo with a witch hat can apparently instant tame any of the bosses. Or we got to go and kill all the bosses to then go ahead and do it. So if we find a silver dodo at any point, that would be amazing. But if we don't, that's also good. Anyways, these stacking boxes. How do we craft these things? We can craft them out of wood thatch fiber. Or we can get metal ones, which I think would be pretty cool as well. Um, and there's three different sizes we can get, so you can kind of like mix and match them. Let's just try and get some of these nice ones. I know I've got a bunch. I was going to... Okay, here's real quickly. I worked out how these things here work. The, uh, the, uh, blah, 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 thing of my bobbies. I actually attached them to my armor. In fact, we can do that right now. Let me show you. Okay, so let's create a reagent of increased armor, right? Let's get two of those. 
Now, what you actually do, and what I was not realizing we had to do, we had to drag this here in, and then just click augment the item. And that's it. You augmented it and increased its armor. So if we do it again, it's going, going to go from 1,115 armor to 1,183 armor. So it only increases a little bit, but it, it adds a you know you know it's it could be worth it if you just bulk them on. But unfortunately, I don't have much I don't have much polymer left, so uh, that's a thing. So what we could do, uh, yeah, we need a polymer, we need a metal, which we got we should have a lot of metal. We got some of. And cementing paste, which we should have some of as well. I just don't know where it all is. Uh, over here, perhaps. I think we've got a bunch of it over here. Yeah. 3,000 of it to be exact. Now, let's... Oh, I can only get one. Oh, because I need more metal. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, let's get one of each. And this is how they look. I actually have never used them, so this is kind of like a learning experience. Wow, I'm heavy. Or is it because I'm crafting? I don't know. So, yeah. This is, this is, what, this is what the storage looks like. And you can actually label them, apparently. So, copy label to back, label box. Okay. So, let's just say we want to store our ammunition in here. We'll label it with ammo. And if the little, like, show up thing disappears, it actually tells you what's inside of it. Okay, it looks like this is the front. So, yeah. You open it up. You store your stuff in there. And then with the new ones, you can also... I actually like the wood ones better, to be honest. But I guess we can, like, keep these. Yeah, and you can basically stack them up like that and get like a nice little bunch of storage. Let's say we want to store our, our guns in this one here. We just go and call it guns. And we want to store, I don't know, our woods in this one here. And there you go. That's that's basically how it works. And it's a really good way of storing stuff because, well, it's you, you know exactly where you need to like open up. You're like, yep, I got to get my guns out of there. I want to get my wood out of there. And it actually looks like, okay... I wasn't sure if the space would change depending on the size, so yeah, that's a thing as well. But I also want to go ahead and craft one of these Ananuki uh, vaults, just to see how big they are or what they look like or what they hold. So let's go and do that as well. Uh, we're going to need metal. There's a bunch of that. We're going to need uh, cementing paste, I think I said. No, polymer. Well, lucky we have polymer. And some oil, which we should have a bunch of as well. I know I've collected a bunch of that over the times. So let's get some oil. Throw the oil in there. And we'll start with one, but I might actually get a couple of these. We'll see how we go. Okay. How do they look? All right, they're tiny. They're tiny. Well, we can get a bunch of these. And how much do they hold? A lot. Oh, baby. And can we, like, name them? Uh, rename it. Rename Anonuki Volts. Okay. Um, guns. Oh yeah, and it actually tells you, instead of having like an actual sign on the vault itself, it gives you the little thing down there on the green description. So, I think we'll get a bunch of these. I actually like these better than the stacking mod, but I might use some of the wood stacking mods, because I'm not a big f I don't know, the metal textures, it's not really for me. Um, uh, I was gonna say, tell me I can pick this thing up. I really was hoping I could pick it up. So, let's get, how many more of these can we get? I need more metal. Alright, let's get three of these. So, three of these should be a good start, at least we can know roughly like i don't know at least we can get like a good storage amount going so we've got three of those um and i think first trip well most of our storage up here is in fact not that stuff in fact wow we've got a lot of like leftover stuff don't we uh you know what i'm gonna have to dump a lot of this stuff so all right you know what i'm gonna keep the pillars with me though keep the pillars because i might actually use those and i still walk with all of this yeah all right let me go and dump all of this in our in our little stone masonry bench over there Oh, and by the way, in case you didn't tell, the menu has been updated. Not that menu, the uh, the options menu. Check it out. Yeah, this is new as well. Uh, it's like spread across four different pages now for some reason. So, yeah, it's changed a lot. I don't really know. Yeah, it's cool. I don't know. Um, it just kind of happened. I was looking for like the change log and like when it happened, but I didn't really know. It didn't really tell me. So, we got rid of all of that. I want to use these stairs as well, so I might hold on to them, keep them on our Quetzal friend as well. Um, wow, we got a lot of metal and stuff as well. Let's get rid of- Alright, it's too heavy. I'm too heavy, apparently. Alright, never mind. Never mind. So, let's get our ammunition. If I can get through to my large storage bench. Um, there's, there's, oh, wow, there's a lot here. There's a lot here. I just want all of the ammo. Um, and maybe weapons as well. Or just ammunition. Just ammunition. We get all the ammunition. I can actually still walk, so that's nice. Um, and I think we've got some arrows in here as well. 200 of them, 250 of them. Um, uh, yeah, okay, cool. Alright, so let's take trip number one down to our Castello di Miola! And we're gonna work out where these vaults are gonna go as well. 
So I don't know if I'm going to split this up into rooms just yet or what. Like I was thinking, I don't know. It's kind of cool having one big space, but it's also cool to have like rooms, which kind of makes me think I should go and get those walls that I just placed away. Just in case I want to separate this a little bit. So one second, just a moment. All right, so I've got all of my goodies and I'm like really, really heavy right now. Um, I might actually leave some stuff behind. So I went and grabbed these big walls because I never actually used them because we use like the little windows and stuff and I don't think you would have been able to use both. Um, so yeah, let's go grab a few of these things. Let's see if we can like, I don't know, make some rooms out of this. So what I was thinking, if we did go for rooms, I could go for like... I don't know, create a little bedroom out here. I was going to build a staircase, but I don't know. Oh, I got no more walls. But yeah, we can make like a little room out of this little section here. I mean, for now, as a placeholder, I can add that as a little door. And yeah, I don't know, we can create a little storage room out of this. Um, or as well as that, we could go and just build a straight... Mm, I don't know, like a wall straight down this section here, but it kind of like shrinks the room a lot and I'm not a big fan of that. But anyways, what I was thinking was we could line up a bunch of storage and our items along here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I think that's where I want my storage at least. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not? Okay. Let me get this nice and straight and looking pretty good. I think sweet, 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 sweet. About there. I think that's like straight ish. Looks as good as I'm going to get it anyway. Cool. Let's drop that one there down. Drop the one next to it as well. And the third one as well. All right. Good start. So we've got a bunch of storage. I'll hopefully just get a bunch of these as we go. That looks pretty straight. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to use this one here as our ammunition one. So let's just go drop the ammunition we don't use. Uh, the pistol bullets, there's a lot of those. There we go. Uh, next up, I guess we'll drop these ones here because they're kind of like the weak bullets. There we go. Then we've got these ones here, the advanced sniper bullets, which we've never used much of. We've got our advanced like rifle bullets as well. Then our shotgun ammo, which is like the most common one we use. We've got the metal arrows and then just regular arrows. And I think I've got a bunch of narcotic arrows that I've left behind somewhere as well. But there we go. There's our little ammo storage. We're going to rename this one to ammunition. Okay, let's go do another trip. So next up, uh, what should we grab next? Our guns, I suppose. Guns and armor. Oh yeah, guns and armor. In fact, do I have any more polymer around the place? I kind of hope I do. Just so that, I don't know. I guess we don't, that's disappointing. Oh, we got 38, but I can't get any more vaults. Oh, what did I, do you reckon I can, hold on. Um, Pick up, pick up. Pick up. Okay. Nope. Pick you up. And pick you up. Maybe we can deconstruct this stuff and get our polymer back. In fact, maybe we have some polymer in our upgrade bench. Let's have a look. We do oh, it's only five. Can I can I salvage this stuff? Let's have a look. Nope. It won't let me. Damn it! I oh, man. I'm not a big fan of this stuff. I wasted so much polymer on it, though. I've got five more here. Is there anything in here? Nope. Just for gasoline. <gasps> you know what we also gotta do? Maybe we'll do it next episode. We might actually hit up the seas next episode and see if we can, I don't know, explore the ocean a little bit. Because I heard the ocean has changed a little bit since we saw it last. Anyways, let's pick up pick up some of these benches. Um, I guess this one here. Let's pick up our industrial grill. Um, oh, we can power this on electricity. No kidding. Why didn't I do that sooner? Alright, pick this up. Cool. Um, this one here. Okay, uh, I guess we'll... We'll empty that first. Uh, is this just a reg regular fabricator? I might craft an S plus one. We're going to leave that then for now. Uh, this here, I guess we can pick up. Why not? I think. Yeah, we can pick this up. Fantastic. This here has got some stuff in it. So we might get a little bit heavy. No, it looks actually pretty good. Pretty good. All right, take it all. And I'll pick you up as well. Uh, that's going to be heavy. That's going to be... That'll be all right, actually. Um, you, I can pick you up. I can pick you up, because you're empty as well. In fact, I don't even need that anymore. Uh, you know what? We can, we can take this. As long as this ain't too heavy. No, we're good, we're good. Um, oh. Oh. Where's the, um... Oh, it's right here. There we go. Pick up. Nope. Pick up electrical outlet. 
There we go. Pick up. Electric generator. Now, we're going to have to be quick with this. Because our golden kibble is going to eva- Like, it's going to disappear, basically. It's going to disappear very, very quickly. So, let's get down here. Now, I'm going to work out where I'm going to place down this generator. Because once we place it down, I really don't want to be picking it back up. And also, we're going to have to, like, work out how we're going to wire some stuff up. So, maybe we can go- Do we, like, centralize it? Or do we place it against the wall? I think we might place it against the wall. But, at the same time- if we separate this into a room, we're going to account for that. I don't know if I'm going to separate this end into a room because it's like, makes less sense a little bit. So I might leave that for now. Um, how am I going to do this? Where am I going to place it? This is the one thing I always have trouble with. Every time. Over here. And I don't want it to like stick out the back wall either. <gasps> got an idea. I got an idea. Hold on. Hold on. Pick up ceiling. Damn it! There's all foundations down here. I thought maybe I'd be able to like stick it down here. Actually, I guess I can. And then I'll just run the cable sideways. Huh. Huh. Now I'm stuck down here though. Now I'm gonna get out of here. Damn it! What was I thinking? Um, I might place it down there. But then we've got to, like, cable this thing up, and that can get a little bit hectic at times. It can get a little bit difficult. You know what I mean? But, like, that could work. There's nothing to say. It, it won't. I can place it, like, sticking out of the wall like that. <laughs> Would that even, like... Hold on. Okay. Let me place that there, because we can pick it back up. Where does this stick out of? Alright. Yeah. 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 And then we can just go horizontal. Alright, so we're going to need some horizontal cables. I don't even know if I've learnt them yet. Uh, cable? Yeah, okay. I haven't even learned the vertical- Oh! S plus vet- Oh, okay! Yeah, we're going to get the S plus one, so we'll just learn them all. Why not? Okay, so, um, I'm guessing we must have done this before we used the mine wipe tonic then. Okay, so, where do we actually get- Oh, oh, that's right. I probably got everything on me that we need to craft it anyway. Because we're going to need that little S plus bench, aren't we? So, this thing here, for now, I think I'm just going to place it down over here. Sticking out the wall, but it's okay. And I can craft cables in here. So, we're just going to need metal ingots, which I don't actually have on me right now. Darn it. Uh, we've got this bad boy here as well. You know what? 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 Let me just go. I'm going to dump all of this away. And dump all of that. Dump it all, dump it all, dump it all. Um, I could set up our preserving bin, but whatever. What I really want to get real quick, though, is some metal. So we can get some of these S-plus things going. Um, metal, metal, metal. Where did I put it all? I put it all over here in the Ananuki thing, didn't I? And I'm thirsty of all times. Of, th of all times, I'm going to get thirsty now. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, um, what did I do with my, with my thirsty thing? My thirsty thing, my little water. Okay, let me just... Just drink some water from that. Okay, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Fantastic, fantastic. Let me get rid of some of this gamma. Land that. Fantastic. Okay. All right. So, so, metal. That's right. We need our little cables, because the sooner we get this done, uh, the better. Uh, so, I wanted a T-section. And then I want some horizontals. That's diagonals. Is that a horizontal? Yep. So, get like six of those. You know what? I'll get eight just to be, just to be sure. So we've got our T-section. Um, is there any like just... Hmm. I might actually get some more T-sections. Because we can make these invisible. So it's not actually that big of a deal. I'm going to need some more electrical outlets as well. So let's go do that. Electrical outlet. Need to learn it first, of course. Um, and that needs metal, wood. And hopefully we've got all those things in here. What am I missing? Wood? I'm missing wood? Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright. So, a little T-section. Um, it flex- what? Requires two or more nearby wires. <gasps> oh, what? I- I think I understand. Alright, for now though. You can like- Remember how last season, I don't know, for those of you who watched the Pokemon series, you would know we had trouble connecting up some of our wires because they were like close, but not close enough type of thing. So like if I was to go and place, I don't know, a cable somewhere stupid like that, 
Does that mean this? Yeah, it'll connect them together. Oh, that's awesome. That's what we needed last season. That is an amazing addition. That is fantastic almost. I'm willing to say that's fantastic. So here we go. We've made it this far. I think if I can go one more, that would be great. I'm going to need some verticals. Uh, vertical, vertical, vertical. Okay, one, two, three, four of those. Yeah, why not? Why not? And I'm going to make sure that they're not like going to intrude with anything. Like I don't want them to like get in my way at all. And I think we're going to be fine with this. All right, let's get our ceilings back. So seven. Yeah, like we're not going to run into that. And we can hide it anyway, so that's good. Throw you up there. And then I want this to just come this way. Can you just come this way? Go that way. Go the other direction. You're not going to let me? Why? Because, really? You're going to do that? You're going to be like that? We'll see. <gasps> Maybe I'll just run them along the ground. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do that. Um, okay, so that's a bit disappointing. It looks like I might need... One of these really, really janky, ugly sections. Which I really don't want. But I guess if we need it, we gotta do it. I only need one of them though. Alright. Um, how about you come in this direction? That would be great. I guess you don't want to. That's really, really disappoint. You're really disappointing me! Please come in this direction. Why are you doing this? I guess they only work on like the one, the one directional thing. Okay, fine. Good idea. What if I am to place that there and then place a cable on top of this, right? This is, get, this is getting silly. I know, I know, I know. You know what? Place it like right up against the wall, like over here. And then I go and connect these two together. All right. Yeah, yeah, like that, like that. And then I pick this up. Yeah, it stays. Awesome. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. Perfect. One might say it is perfect. Um, cool. And then we got our electrical outlet, right? Where's that? I thought I picked it up. Where's my outlet gone? We had... Oh, here we go. Okay. And then like... like I might go another horizontal. Yeah, this is working out really well. Just give me a bunch more horizontals. I'm going to have to go get some wood. I don't think you've got any on you, do you, champ? Um, nope, but I can take you for a quick little ride down here. Oh, this is working out well! It's working out really, really... Oh, I don't even have a hatchet on me. All right. Collecting wood the old-fashioned way. Why did I get rid of my hatchet? Absolute moron. In fact, you know I would be quicker. You know I would be a lot quicker. Oi, Bronk! I knew there was a reason you were trying to help me before. Um, that's the wrong one. I need some wood from you. There we go. There we go. Let's just get like a hundred of that. Fantastic. All right. You're an absolute legend, Bronk. I knew that was a reason you, you were trying to butt in and walk through the, the, <laughs> the mountain before. You bloody legends. Okay. So. So, 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 so. so. Um, wood. That's right. I got to throw that in there. Okay. Let's get a few more of those. We've got our horizontals as well. Um... Through that there. Okay. Sweet. Okay. And I reckon that's far enough. Our outlet is going to go there. We're going to go throw another outlet. Can I throw? Oh, I need, I, need, I need to get the other outlet, don't I? Yeah. Okay. So it's not like super duper smart looking and stuff, but it'll do. Like that sort of thing. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. It's pretty bad. <laughs> that doesn't need to be there. But if we like, I don't know, I don't know. And basically, I think we can just go and hide this all, can't we? I don't know how it works exactly, but I think you can go hide. Oh, and you got to do it one piece at a time, but that's cool. We can go and hide it all um, once our generator is running as well. Let me go get my fuel. We can go and start that up right away. Because, um, like I said, we don't... Where is my fuel? It's, it's in my inventory. It's all good. Like I said, you know, we got to be careful. We don't want all of our golden kibble to go to waste. So there we go. That's all powered up. Fantastic. These things here... You can hide the sparks even. Uh, disable sparks. Hide nearby wires. Show it. What? I'm surprised. Usually that kind of just does the whole thing. What if I show that? Show nearby wires. Hide. All right. It doesn't want to work. Usually it hides everything. Hide nearby wire. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't want to work, unfortunately. But yeah, there we go. We can now power everything. So we're going to have to go and get our refrigerator, I guess. Um, 
Let's go place this down though. I guess we got to keep all of our powered stuff pretty close together. There we go. There's that there done. And look, we can switch it to electricity. So now it's powered by electricity. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we got to go get our fridge. That's, that's utmost importance right now. We're going to have to throw all of the stuff into our Quetzal. So hopefully we can transport it all at once. This one, oh, I didn't even know. It's going to be a difficult one. Yeah. Look, everything's decaying. We've actually lost a bunch of stuff already. So transport. Oh, you better not eat any of this stuff, buddy. You better not eat any of this stuff. Transport. Oh, transport all again. We might actually need a second refrigerator. So we might just craft a second one of these eventually too. Um, transport. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <gasps> the fridge. The fridge. What about the fridge? <laughs> I can't forget the fridge. The most important part. Pick it up, baby! Let's go! Alright. I hope there was nothing left inside of it. I'm pretty sure there wasn't, though. And uh, let's... Oh, I gotta take you inside, because we gotta restock the fridge, don't we? Okay. Uh, you know what? A little bit closer there, mate. A little bit closer. Let's get you right up next to there. Fantastic. And the fridge is gonna go right beneath... Right next to here. And we'll, we'll eventually get a second one to go alongside it as well. Oh, man. Quetzal, I got you too close, mate. I got you way too close. Way too close. All right, let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Zoom right in. Okay. There we go. There we go. I'm going to tuck it up right there. Love it. All right. Cool. Now it's powered. Everything's good. Transfer it all. Give it all to me. And I guess we just transfer all. I don't know if the non-food stuff is going to appear in there or not. I hope it doesn't. Transfer all. Give it all to me, baby. Give it all to me. And then we transfer all of that as well. All right. So all of our golden kibble is across. It's not going to decay any further, I hope. Um, and yeah, it's all in there. So it should all be good. Nothing's going to decay. I'll organize it another time. It actually looks pretty organized on its own. But the main thing is we've got... Oh, and now I'm too heavy because of all of this stuff. Of course I am. Of course I am. All right. So yeah, looking pretty good. I like it. I like it. I think I'm, I'm going to save that spot there for another fridge. So we can go two fridges side by side. We can keep different sorts of stuff inside of them. Um, this here, I think I'm going to go and put the uh, this thing here down. But I'm not sure if it'll be next to a fridge. I'm not sure if I'll put a fridge in the middle. In fact, can I just craft a fridge right now? Do I have what I need for a fridge? I don't think I've even learned it. Let's have a look. African beehive. I want to get one of them. That's cool. That's part of one of the new updates, I think. But we don't have that one yet. Um, refrigerator. What do I need? Crystal. I don't have any on me, do I? Nope. Let me go get some. And we might as well get the fridge up now so we can just get it all organized. Get it all done. Get it all in place. And get it all happening, baby. All right. Let's see if we can get this thing nice, up, and tight with everything else. All right. Beautiful. Fantastic! And it's powered as well! It's beautiful! Fantastic! Amazing! Now, can I pick all of this up without being over heavy? I can! Fantastic! Pick no, I want to pick you up, buddy. I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to place our little other fridge next to it. Because I don't think we'll ever need... I don't think we'll ever need three fridges. I mean, we're barely filling up one fridge, so the second one of those is probably pretty pretty pointless, but what have skis, man, what have skis. And I think I'm going to place this like that for now. There we go. Okay. And then we'll go throw our spark powder, our meats in, and oil. Fantastic! Start you up. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's going already, isn't it? All right, so things are coming together really, really nicely. I'm really happy with how this is all going together. The castle of Miola. It's a beautiful place where everybody gets along and can have fun together. It's amazing. It's it's awesome. I'm loving it. I'm loving it to bits. Hope you guys are as well. But for now, we are going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Ark Survival Evolved. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and... Oh, I wanted to do a little... Punch the thumbs up. Punch the thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. I'll catch you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye for now.